you are probably familiar with the Kanban methodology, since it's used by most organizations nowadays. But what you may not know is that there is a version that is called Personal Kanban that could be used to greatly benefit your day-to-day -day responsibilities. And that's what we're going to see today in this video. The method I'm going to show you today, I got from a book that is called Personal Kanban, written by Jim Benson, that came into my hands in 2017, at a time when I was transitioning to become a tech lead. It helped me a lot to organize my personal life as well as my work life. But I had to add a few things to the method to make it really work. Let's start with the two rules you have to follow. First, visualize your work. This is because anything that comes to you, you will have to create a card on the board and track it. And the second rule, which is also very important but very difficult to follow, is limit your work in progress. The idea is that you can have a maximum of three tasks that you are working on at the same time. Let's create a board in kanbanflow.com. Another option would be Trello, but I will explain later why I prefer Kanban Flow. Done, now we have a board. Next, we need to create the columns. The book recommends to have three columns, to do, doing, and done. Let me first explain the three before I introduce my two columns. Now, anything that comes to you that is either a request from a stakeholder, your boss, your team, or even yourself, you have to come and add that task in your to-do column. That way, you don't forget anything. Now, you choose the three most important ones, move them from the to-do column to the doing column, and start working on those things and only on those things. Anything else that comes from the outside, you must put it in the to-do column. And then, if it's more important than the things that you are already doing, you can make the switch. When you finish a task, you move it to the third column. And here's where Kanban Flow shines because it organized done column by date and you can actually see what you have completed every day. After using this framework for some time, I realized that my to-do list will have a lot of cards and it made me difficult to identify what to work on and that search was consuming time. So I created a column that I call next, which is going to hold my most important cards and once I finish something, I don't have to read 20 cards I just had to select from a list that has three or four. The other column that was essential for a successful implementation was the waiting column, which comes in handy when you do a portion of a card, but you can't close it because you need confirmation or you need more details. A warning here, if you default to moving most of your cards to this column, it will probably grow uncontrollably. So keep an eye on it. Side note, since my board now has two extra columns that are not in the book, I decided that I am entitled to give this methodology a name. And because I am very original, I call this my command center. Let me show you the key features that made me choose command flow over Trello. And once you know them, you will probably agree with me. Due date. This will help you to not miss a deadline because the column will tell you that there is a card with a missed deadline. Hint. The due date should be one or two days before the actual deadline to be the most effective. Colors. You can use this feature to set categories, priorities, or define who made the request. Is it your team, other teams, the architect, is it urgent? When you are creating a card, select from the category you created before. So now when you are creating a card, you can select down from this drop down and you are going to select from the categories you created before. If a card is for something that has multiple steps, I will add subtasks when I create the card to know what I need to do next. Since one of the most frequent reasons we procrastinate on a card is because we didn't clearly define the next step. And the best feature, it's free. Now your command center is ready to go. If you want to know how to integrate this with your week, check this video and thanks for watching, see you next week.